Welcome to the Shopify Keyword Research Course. I'm Mike Zima, a Shopify marketing expert with over 1,000 reviews. I've helped thousands of Shopify stores rank on Google, and I'm gonna help you too. Keyword research is the deciding factor here. The better research you have, the more tactical you can be in building the best communication for your store, and this is what attracts results from Google. If you can develop this skill, you're going to master SEO in a very short window. It's all about the keywords, and if you're creating a Shopify store, nobody knows your business like you. So let's dive in, go through the basics of keyword research, and before long, you're going to be a keyword ninja that's going to be ranking not your first Shopify store, but dozens of Shopify stores that you're gonna create in your career. So let's dive in. How to research keywords for your Shopify store. You can do a great SEO keyword research for your Shopify store in six simple steps. Step one, get a spreadsheet. Step two, analyze your own store. Step three, competitor analysis. Step four, research other keywords you want to rank for. Step five, read the numbers and select your keywords. Step six, plan your content. Let's go through them one by one. Step one, get a spreadsheet. This step should be pretty obvious. You're going to need somewhere to write everything down. Luckily for you, we've got you covered. We want to give you the keyword research template we use for all of our clients, absolutely free. It will make your keyword research easy, fast, and actionable. Go ahead and copy this spreadsheet so you can have a version for yourself. Name it to whatever you want and we're ready to go. Step two, analyze your own store. Once you have your spreadsheet ready, it's time to analyze your store. Here's how to do it. Log into SCMRush. Select organic research. In this case, I'm not ranking for any keywords on Google. It will take Google a little bit of time to find the keywords on my store, so I can't paste anything in. So in this case, I'm going to show you one of my competitors so we can see what keywords they're ranking for. Now in this example, they have a ton of keywords. So you wanna scroll down to top organic keywords, view all organic keywords, export to CSV, and I'm only gonna export the first 100 rows. 45,000 keywords are a lot, and it can be overwhelming to process that much data. So consider how many keywords you're taking and how many keywords you'll evaluate. Open the Excel file and copy the first six columns into your spreadsheet. Keyword, position, previous position, search volume, keyword difficulty, and cost per click. That's it. You now have all the data regarding your Shopify store's organic keywords. You can view the positions they're ranking for in Google, the keyword search volume, the keyword difficulty, and the cost per click. Step three, analyze your competitors. Now it's time to analyze your competitors. You need to get all the keywords you share with them as well as their unique keywords, the ones you aren't ranking for and they are. Here's how we do it. First, we're going to look at shared keywords. Log into SCMrush, click Keyword Gap. Make sure you enter in URL, add your competitor URLs, select the country you want to compare, make sure organic keywords are turned on, and click Compare. Now, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see a couple tabs here. You'll see Shared Keywords. In this case, I don't have any shared keywords, so there's nothing for me to export. Shared keywords allow you to see strengths and weaknesses in your store's rankings compared to your competitors. In this case, all of the keywords that are coming up between my competitors are missing. And this is where you start to apply strategy. Are you going after shared keywords or are you going after missing keywords? Now to find missing keywords, it's the same approach. You're going to log into SCMrush, go into Keyword Gap, enter in your URL, your competitor URLs, the country, make sure you turn on organic keywords, and you're gonna hit compare. 
And when you scroll down, you're going to have a breakdown of these keywords. Inside of the missing tab, these are the keywords we're going to export. We're going to go ahead, click export, 249 results. Excellent. I'm going to export this now. Open the file. Now select the column from column A all the way up to competition. Select copy. Go back to your Excel spreadsheet and copy that in. Now I'm going to have my website, my competitors, search volume, keyword difficulty, cost per click, and the competition on the keywords. This is going to show me all of the missing keywords and how I want to target them. A little pro tip, the highlighted keywords here are going to pull the data for my ranking keywords. So if I'm ranking for keywords, it's going to give me a lens and how I should concentrate my strategy and what I'm going to do next. Missing keywords are the ones your competitors are ranking for, but you are not. You can use them to discover new opportunities. With this information, you can analyze the keyword gap inside your store and see which are your strongest and take notes of the keywords that could use a boost. Step four, research other keywords you want to rank for. Inspiration is everything when it comes to keyword research. Be sure to look for keywords that you want to rank for or are interested in. They can be related search terms, topics you are interested in tackling, anything that increases your store's eat, expertise, authority, trust, new products you can plan on launching. Once you have a basic idea and some topics written down, it's time to find the relevant keywords. Log into SEMrush. Select Keyword Magic Tool, by far one of my most favorite tools. Now type in a keyword. Before we do that, we can always go back to our keyword gap or our ranking keywords to get some inspiration. In this case, I'm gonna pick one of these highlighted keywords and I'm going to look after Korean cosmetics. Now I'm going to put this in the search bar. For more advanced filters, click advanced filters, add broad match keywords into your search. This case, there's also a lot of different features to help you narrow down the types of keywords, exclude types of keywords, different types of parameters, how long the keyword is, how good the search is. If it's very competitive, it has a good cost per click, you can go very far with this tool. In this case, I'm keeping it very broad and I'm applying the filters. Click search. Now there's quite a few keywords here. There's 1700 keywords and you can use all of these and it also helps you narrow it down by different categories. So for brands, best buy, shop, surgery, store, it gives me a lot of different content buckets. In this case, I wanna work with wholesalers. I want people to find some of my wholesale products. So I'm gonna narrow it down because this is a strategy that I wanna pursue in optimizing my store for wholesale products. Now I can go through here and actually add and select and really slice and dice, but overall I'm doing the work inside of the keyword document click export, and I'm only exporting this group unless you want all of them. Open it up. Now select the columns and grab them, and you can grab them all the way up here to search features. This data is going to be useful at some point later, and it gives you granularity to investigate different keywords and help you evaluate your choices. Remember, the strategy is yours, and you're going to have to take all of the data and make a decision based off of it. So let's copy this into the keyword pool. And now we have keywords in the keyword pool. Write down the keywords category, keyword plus broad match. So this was Korean skincare plus broad match, and then drag it down. The reason we do this is we're going to repeat this research multiple times and over time we're going to have a lens into different categories. We want to group keywords so we have data based off of different topics and themes and it's going to help us build a comprehensive database of keywords so you don't always have to go back to the keyword magic tool and do this. This is about speed and efficiency. The first part of your keyword research is done. Now it's time to select. If you need a bit more inspiration finding keywords, you can always go into your Google Search Console and look for your store's relevant search terms. If you don't know how to do this, here is our full Google Search Console setup guide for Shopify. As an extra tip, be sure to include long tail keywords in your research. Since they tend to have a click-through rate 
three to 5% higher than generic searches. You're going to repeat this process as many times as it takes, and it helps you simplify the work as you build this out and come back to this document to help with your page optimizations. Step five, read the numbers. This is an SEM rush tutorial. When you start exploring different keywords and exporting them and putting them into your Excel sheet, the numbers can be overwhelming. So I'm going to help you extrapolate that. In order to select the keywords you want to target, you need to know how to read the numbers. Lucky for you, we've made this easy as pie. So when you look at your keywords, you're going to have position. This is where your site is showing up in search engine results pages, SERPs for a specific keyword. You'll have a historical previous position the last 30 days, search volume, the average monthly number of searches for a specific keyword, keyword difficulty, Estimates of how difficult it is to rank for a specific keyword on a scale of 1 to 100, with 100 being the hardest. Cost per click, CPC, a keyword's cost per single click. This is useful for finding PPC campaign keywords. Competition density, estimate of how competitive the bidding is among advertisers for a specific keyword. Search results, the number of results that show up on Google's organic search results pages. Ads not included. When someone searches for that specific keyword. SERP features. Any results on Google search engine results pages that is not the traditional snippet. For SEO keyword research, you only need to consider two of these. Search volume. It tells you how popular a certain keyword is. Keyword difficulty. It tells you how competitive, difficult, it will be to rank for that specific keyword. Here's a pro tip. Keep an eye out for SERP features. If you see that a keyword has video showing up in search features, you can take advantage of it and shoot a video to target it as well. Now in the keyword pool, we're going to start targeting different keywords we want to work on in our campaign. The approach to this is something you are going to have to develop on your own, but the concept is very simple. You're going to rate your keywords in three different categories. Usually one is the hardest to rank for and three is the easiest to rank for. So if I have a lot of different keywords, you can sort this by search volume, competition, cost per click, and build your list off of that criteria. It's all about slicing and dicing and approaching this theory in a way that works for your business. So we're going to select 12 keywords here and we're going to select four for each level. From your keyword pool, select keywords that are relevant to your business, have a high search volume, and if possible, low keyword difficulty. Copy the selected keywords into the keyword select tab is what we're going to do after this. So first, I'm going to rank my keywords here and I'm gonna do this rather quickly. So my first four keywords are going to be the highest ones and then I'm gonna go a little lower and these are going to be good level two keywords and then I'm gonna go a little lower and there's some new keywords, B2B, wholesale Korean cosmetics. These look great. I wanna start targeting some of these keywords and now I have them. I can go ahead and sort this. There we go. I have my keywords here and I'm gonna copy them into my keyword selects. Now I have the keyword list that I'm going to be concentrating on now. You wanna refresh this every 30 to 90 days so you can refocus your campaign on the SEO results you're receiving and on the SEO results that you're going to set out to accomplish. Now, a little bit about the levels. Level one, high search volume, high keyword difficulty. Level two, high search volume, medium keyword difficulty. Level three, high to medium search volume, low keyword difficulty. Now it's time to take all this research into action. If you are wondering why we made you assign a number to your selected keywords, here's why. Level one keywords, they're the money keywords you wanna shoot for, but it will take more time. These are very sought after keywords, but very competitive ones as well. Level two keywords. These are keywords that you can start planning into your content strategy and keep in mind for your next blog articles. Level three keywords. These are the keywords that you can start ranking for right now, 
but be sure to include them in your immediate SEO optimizations. And that's it. You've successfully run an SEO keyword research for your Shopify store. Easy as pie. Bonus, get a present. We want your keyword research to be the best possible. That's why we want to give you the spreadsheet we use in this tutorial absolutely free. Be sure to download it here and start making the most out of your Shopify SEO research. Happy Shopify keyword research. Thank you for watching this Shopify marketing course. Every day we're launching new Shopify marketing content to put you in the driver's seat of your business so you can have full control of your marketing and advertising. Hit subscribe, hit notifications, and tune into the next video that's starting now.